<coughs> so children we move on to the second video of my lesson on compound interest so as you have seen in the part one also and this uh, present video lesson and maybe next also you will see we are doing without formula so we are here doing compound interest as repeated simple interest so concept wise we are doing same thing we will use formula in exercise 2.2 so this is more basic thing and sometime you will see children this uh, common sense method repeated simple interest method is sometime easier than the formula one because formula comes from the logic of this chapter not the other way around so please pay attention a uh, couple of little difficult question i'll do and maybe in next session you will see little more harder sum then we move on to the formula uh, where we find a compound interest by formula so here we go uh, to question 5 1 and 3 i have solved in my uh, part 1 of the video and there i have also given you introduction about this so kindly if you are watching this directly my advice is to go to the part 1 of the video see that nicely then you come back to this part so here this is the question number 5 from ml agrawal's book exercise 2.1 so here we start si is given so this is children from your class 8 concept simple interest so what it is given here si for 2 year is 1380 okay rate is 12% and time is 2 year so first we have to find principal. So if you know here, our basic main mother formula is SI is P into R into T by 100. So here if you want to find P children, let P be here. So it is SI into 100. This goes up is r into t so this formula or this mother formula you can use and this is coming from there so first part children uh, one mark you will get for finding your principle so principle is si 1380 into 100 by r into t r is 12 and t is 2 so here you can cancel with 2 this will be 6 to 6 are 12 1 9 18 and then 0 so this again you can cancel here with 2 so this will become 3 4 3 2 4 is 9 and 5 Okay, again you can cancel children with 2, this becomes 50 and this becomes 3. Then this 3 will go again because this is 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12. So 3 you can cancel 1, 1, uh, 5. So finally we get 1, 1, 5 into 50. So... Uh, if you multiply this by 5, forget about uh, 10 you remove, 50. So 115 5 is 575 and 10. What I have done children, I have multiplied with 5 and put 10. So many things you can do in mental maths. So this is my first part, I get the principle and doing this children, you will get one mark only. Maybe this is 3 mark question. So compound interest for one year, it uh, is uh, compounded half yearly it is being compounded half yearly or semi-annually one thing before i go to the second part children uh, in this chapter number one is concept how what we are doing and second thing very important is how you cancel and solve solving is one of the toughest over here so two things you have to see what you are doing concept is one part solving you have to be very good in multiplication and division and from my side i'll tell you many times I'll go fast because if I see you, show you the full division and multiplication, my 15-20 minute video will become 40 minute and it will become boring. So many places I will solve uh, faster and second thing is there, uh, I have already solved. 
so uh, to save your time and my uploading will take a lot of time if video is bigger second problem is that and second it gets boring simple division and multiplication i think you will be able to do nicely you are now in class 9 and second thing what i was telling you was uh, So the second thing which I was telling you was you are not allowed calculator. So please don't use calculator for all this. Okay, so bigger division multiplication also. Class 11 and 12 in ICSC board, I'm not sure about CBSC board, you are allowed calculator to use in maths, but not up to class 10 in ICSC. So please, please, you have got your mobile with you, you are watching in mobile, and also please, don't use calculator otherwise in exam you won't be able to solve it so before i go to the second part of this so please pause the video and copy so children we move on to the second part so we have to find so i told you one mark you will get for finding the principle which we got this so next we move on to we have to find compound interest for one year, which is being compounded half yearly. So principal we know, rate we half children, rate is half, remember one very important thing. When we do half yearly, so what is the reason, 6%? Rate means how much money out of 100 you get in a year. So you get 12 rupees here for one year. So half year you will get 6 rupees. What is meaning of rate? For every 100 rupees you put in a bank, at the end of the year you get 12 rupees. So for half year, you keep for six months, you will get half of that. 100 rupees will fetch you rupees six. So here we go. Principle is given. So what is interest for the first half year? So it is P is 5750. Rate is half children. Please don't do 12 and do because you will go wrong. And time period. See this time means time period. It is half year. Okay, so this is not one year always, so one year is two half year, two time period where the amount becomes the principal. So here we got the interest for the first half year, so zero, zero cancels, five twos are ten, three twos are six, five ones are five, five ones are five, two, five. So we get children rupees 115 into three. This is 100 into 3 is 300, 15 threes are 45. So this is our interest for the first half year. So what you do, please copy this. So I'll use here, I'm not going down because my writing goes. So board is little down, so writing also becomes bad. I have to bend also. So generally you will try it, you will see that I'm writing it on so kindly pause the video we move on to the second part of this question so children before I go to the second half year what is amount at the end of first half year so amount at the end of first half year is rupees this principal plus your interest 345 so when you add them you will get rupees 6000 95 so this amount at the end of first half year will become principal for the second year so principal for the second year if you see children will be rupees 6095 and the rate will remain the same so what we do we find i for the interest for the second uh, first half year so second half year so here only i am trying to show you second half year what we will get children is here we get Six zero nine five p into r. Remember, half of the rate you have to take once more. Into time is one time period by hundred. 
so this we have to solve to get the interest for the second half year let us solve this if you cancel by 5 it becomes 20 and this is 12 fives are 60 95 means it will be 1 9 again you can do this is 10 and this becomes 3 so finally what we get children is 1219 into 3 by 10 so here mental mass little bit i'll teach you let it be 1200 1200 is 3600 and 19 threes are is 57 so 12 threes are 36 so 20 3600 plus 57 by 10 so what do we get children is yeah here only i'm doing 10 means rupees 365 Point seven zero. So what is the amount at the end of second half year? Second half year is rupees 6095 plus rupees 365.7. So when you add, you will get your 6460.7. Six four six zero point seven. So this is my amount at the end of your one year, I means second half year. So question was if you see find the CI. So finally the last part I'm doing here. So please see here CI is your six four six zero point seven minus if you see in the beginning my principal was 7570 so when you subtract this 5750 from 6460.7 you will get 710 rupees and 90 paise so this is your interest for the one year where we put the money uh, half yearly twice so this was question five children please pause the video and copy so we move on to question number seven children so here what is given C that a sum of money principal which is five thousand at the end of first year it amounts to five thousand six hundred so we have to find the rate so end of first year remember this goes for up to three years so you know rate as i have taught you earlier or in class eight you will say assign into 100 into p into t so rate what is si here children or i for one year is 5600 minus 5000 so principal of this this is amount so rupees 600 is the interest given by the bank okay so 600 into 100 by principal is 5000 so what it says if you keep uh, 5000 rupees in a bank this was there 20 25 years ago when we had 12 13 14 percent interest so in one year it would have you will see by answer will come i think 12 percent it would have become five so see here time is one year so once you do 2020 this also cancels so we get a 12 percent rate of interest 5000 would have become 5600 at the end of first year now as i told you earlier for one year if it is compounded annually simple interest and compound interest are same so question is what is interest for the second year children so here we go so what is listen very carefully principal principal for second year is equal to rupees 5600 because amount at the end of first year becomes the principal for the second year what is our rate rate we have got children 12 percent rate is same so what we have to find here what is i for second year i so little shortcut i'll use other question which I was doing, I was doing previously. I was writing all 
the thing in detail so little shortcut i'll use i for second year remember here children you don't say si interest for second year si for second year may not be very mathematically wrong but we are doing interest on interest so repeated interest simple interest so it's better you use i so i for second year is see this is the principal children rate we got 12 so p into r into t by 100 so 5600 if you do uh, find the interest so you will get this and if you multiply 56 by 12 you will get 26 is 12 1 5 2 is 10 okay and then 5 6 so finally you will get rupees 672 okay so you can imagine another mental maths method i'll tell you first year we get 6 plus interest on interest so this is mental maths method this will help in when you do this uh, for your jobs and all management test and job you have to do this in 35 second this sum so there you will see interest on interest what is interest for second year 600 you got for first year okay so you will get 600 for second year plus interest on interest 12 percent of 600 so this will give you 72 so i have sent you my video link for percentage mental mass there you will see 12 percent will be 12 six because one percent is six 12 percent is 72 so 600 percent so you have to be very good in mental mass children so this was my uh, second part i for the second year so this is my answer i for the second year is rupees your 672 so pause the video then we move on to the last part where we will find amount at the end of third year so here we can see before i go the amount at the end of second year is uh, 5600 was the principal for second year and i got 672 rupees interest so amount at the end of second year if you add children 5600 672 2726 so 6272 rupees is the amount at the end of second year which will become the principal for the third year so kindly pause the video and do so i'll finish the uh, amount at the end of the third year over here so one more working we got amount at the end of second year this will become the principal for the third year and one more interest calculation we will do and we will get the amount at the end of third year so here we are going we see principal for the third year which is amount at the end of second year and we have rate 12 percent so i don't write si we have a tendency i for the third year is p into r p into r into t by 100 so this you multiply by 12 i would advise you to cancel you may not cancel multiply and two places decimal you put to the left side so if you do this you will get 752 rupees 752 rupees 64 paise okay so you can multiply and check and then finally amount at the end of third year amount at the end of third year okay is we add your principal six seven six two seven two so six 272 plus 752.64 so this will be my amount at the end of third year let us add 64 4 7 and 5 12 1 10 0 7 so if you see amount at the end of third year is 7024.64 per se so this is my answer 
so once more from the first part we got rate 12 percent we got i for the second year which is 672 then we got amount at the end of the second year which becomes the principal for the third year we get interest for the third year we add interest with the principal and we get amount at the end of the third year a stands for amount so now children please pause the video and copy then i go to question 10 which will be my last question in today's session so please copy So here we start the last question of this session. Find the amount and compound interest. A for amount. C for compound interest when principal is given 5,000 time to year. But difference children is here. We have two different rates of interest. For the first year, we have 6%. And for the second year, we have 8%. And I think if you see in ML Agrawal's book, very similar question you will see solved example six so please my advice very earnest advice children is ml agrawal or concise any book if you are using uh, they have very good collection of solved example you learn two things there how to uh, get the answer and how to solve and what are the things which you need to write so please do the solved example all before you do the chapter in fact here uh, I'm going to 10, question number 10 over here. You solve 10 solved example also. Then solve 10 unsolved example also. Check the answer. So this is very important children because most of the standard books, they have some very good solved example question and in exam you get many questions from solved example. Okay, they have solved, like if you do class 10, you have previous year, very good ICSC questions. So here we start, find the amount so, for the first year children, for uh, the first year. So, what we have? Principal is rupees 5000. Time always one year children, remember time always one year. This is compound interest, repeated simple interest. And rate is 6%. So, what is I for? First year, I for first year is 5000 into P into R into T by 100. So if you do, you get rupees 56 are 300. Okay, so 6% of 5000. So you have will see in my uh, percentage video if you have seen 1% to 0 remove 50. 6% is 56 are 300. So now what happens? Uh, this is I for the first year, amount at the end of first year is your rupees 5000 plus 300. So it is rupees 5300. Now for second year, so see this is in a different way I am writing, you can see the way in the book they have solved solved example and six and see how little variation in the same thing i brought about for the second year for the second year so for the second year children amount at the end of the first year becomes the principal for the second year and most important thing rate is changing children rate was six it has become eight percent okay and time again is one year at a time compound interest we generally take half or one year we never take two year like that and in fact compounded half yearly we take half year at a time so what is i for the second year I for the second year, if you wish you can write, but already I have written second year. So for second year is P into R into T is 1 by 100. So here we get 53 into 8 rupees. 
so here if you do mental maths little bit 53 you break into 50 and 3 58 is 400 400 3 4 is 24 so rupees 424 so amount at the end of second year amount at the at the end of second year is uh, 5300 plus 424 children 5724 so what was our question if you remember if you see the question question was uh, calculate the amount and compound interest okay so calculate the amount so amount we have got children amount we have got only thing we have to get ci over here okay so please copy i'll rub this part i don't want to write it down so please pause the video and copy and so i for two year okay compound interest is your amount at the end of two year minus principal we had 5000 so we get rupees 724 so once more amount at the end of second year is this so this is the amount first answer is this you will get one mark for this so see if this is a three mark question you see one mark you will get here six percent you find another mark you will get here amount at the end of second year and the third mark if you subtract amount at the end of sorry second year with the principal at the beginning of the first year so 724 is the compound interest for the two years so kindly pause the video and copy and as i have told you children this is a very tough chapter i am telling you one of the hardest chapter here you have to understand the concept which is not very hard but solving i told you getting the answer multiplying dividing so you have to be very careful so please do 10 solved example from exercise 2.1 and 10 unsolved example with whatever question five i think i have done five question with you and in the next session we will take more difficult question from exercise 2.1 so thank you children for watching this video session